massive spider. Isn't it? We found it 30 minutes ago while I was still in bed crawling up my window. Yeah. What is up guys? Aquatic Beast here. Now today I'm going to be doing a spider. That's right, a spider. Now this was requested by my good subscriber, Joe Wake Global. He uh, said in one of the comments of my videos, Hey, Aquatic Beast, why don't you do a spider? I want, uh, you know, you seem to have an interest in spider. I want you to do a spider. I guess it's a wow kind of arachnid to do. Uh, it is a tough question sometimes because there's a lot of choices of spider but since I found this one in my bedroom this is the one I'm gonna go for. It's called the common house spider also known as the cobweb spider. These spiders are native to Europe, Australia, Asia and North America. Now the common house spider in America is usually mistaken for the brown recluse and the yard spider. The yard spider looks there's not much difference between the two. The yard spider has a more grey and black pattern and it's got a different finish on the abdomen which is this part here, the spider. And a common house spider as you can see is more of a brown black finish on the abdomen. Um, one other thing is that common house spiders are extremely docile. I've never seen one bite. I've never seen one be aggressive towards anyone. I've never, I've never encountered a spider like this being aggressive towards me. They are extremely docile. The only thing that I would say for you beginners is that common house spiders can be extremely quick. You can handle them, but when he gets or she gets nervous, he or she darts and they dart fast. So kind of more of a hard spider to handle than let's say a garden cross spider or even the lace weaver spider now the yard spider of North America has a very bad reputation um, it's said that they are hyper aggressive that they have a pretty nasty bite and they're very venomous compared to that of the common house spider now, if you get bitten by a common house spider, which is on a very rare occasion, only if you're if provoking it, not exactly in an aggressive way, but it will just nip and it will turn out like a mosquito bite and you'll be fine, it dies down in a few days. But with the yard spider, its bite resembles that the symptoms of the white tail spider, that is a venomous spider in Australia, which causes dead tissue and skin necrosis around the wound and it, it, it can actually kill a number of people who have either the bad immunity the young or the elderly so that it's kind of a more of a spider to watch out for so if you live in north america do not pick up the yard spider because that is more of an aggressive species but it's in the same family or it's in the same class as the common house spider of that same country in europe asia and australia so this one is a female, you can tell it is a female by the enlarged abdomen, the male usually has a, a thinner abdomen and it's pedipalps which are like the, the feelers in between its fangs are long and bulky so that, that is basically the male sexual organs for having intercourse <laughs> with the female. So yeah, that, that this is my spider guys. Um, well, there you go, Joe Wake Global. That is the spider that you've wanted me to do. You satisfied, man? I hope so. So, you're probably wondering right now, well, what's he going to do? Is he going to be cruel and uh, put it in a cage of some sort, or is he going to let it go? Yeah, no, I'm not a cruel person, guys. I don't put spiders in tanks or jars or whatever. Um, I do actually have a jar, but that was to just kind of showcase the spider. Um, for my last video, but that didn't really turn out well. Couldn't upload it. There was an internet problem yesterday, so I decided to have it on my hand instead. And that was a different spider, obviously, because I found this one this morning. So uh, I might actually put it back now. See me. Yeah, there we go. All right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.